Okay, now let's move to the key components of sustainability. Sustainability, as we all know that it is the integral uh, theme for this lesson or for this book of studying environmental science. So, however, the sustainability have several critical components that will help us to fully understand the concept of sustainability. Number one is the natural capital. Okay, so the natural capital encompasses the natural resources and ecosystem services. And these two keeps us and other species alive and support human economies. So what are these natural resources? So natural resources are the materials and energy in nature, of course, that are essential and useful to humans. So natural resources can be inexhaustible, renewable, or non-renewable. So these are the three uh, natural uh, type of natural resources. Okay, when we say inexhaustible, it can last long or cannot be depleted. It can uh, it can continuously supply us over a long period of time, even billions of years. Like for example, the sun and the wind. The sun can supply us uh, solar energy for a very uh, long period of time already. Okay. It's, or around billions of years, okay? And it's considered to be inexhaustible. That means it cannot be uh, depleted or it can supply us for a long period of time until the sun dies, okay? So, and we have renewable resources. Renewable resources, uh, these are resources uh, that can be uh, renewed, okay? As we can uh, use it, so, but it can be uh, renewed by the nature itself, okay? Such as air, okay, water, uh, soil, plants, and animals. <laughs> and we have also uh, exhaustible resources or the non-renewable resources. That means uh, they can be uh, they can be renewed, but at a very long uh, long period of time. Okay, so it takes time for this to be uh, to be produced again by the nature. Okay, like for example, you have copper, coal, and oil. Okay, so these are the uh, exhaustible resources or the non-renewable resources. Okay. Then, since natural capital includes the natural resources and also the ecosystem services, then what do you mean by ecosystem services? These are actually processes, okay? Provided by healthy ecosystem that supports life and human economies at no monetary cost, okay? At no monetary cost. Okay, so this includes the purification of air. So these are uh, services that, that includes, uh, uh, like for example, purification of air and water, okay? So treating uh, wastes like uh, wastewater treatment. Uh, we can have also uh, pest control. Okay, so these are uh, ecosystem services so that supports the uh, species and also it helps our economy. Okay, so those are the examples of those ecosystem uh, services. Okay, so I have here a picture that you can fully understand what a natural capital. So there, as what I have said earlier, that natural capital uh, includes all the natural resources and also plus the ecosystem services. So the blue one here is the natural resources, okay, and the the brown there or okay is the ecosystem services. Okay, like for example, if you have air as the natural resources, because air is a renewable resource, okay. So the ecosystem uh, services there could have uh, air purification, okay, climate control, and also UV protection or, for example, the depletion of the ozone layer, okay? So that is part of the ecosystem services. So in order for the, our ozone to be protected, okay, there are, are ecosystem services that, that are actually uh, used uh, to protect the ozone. Okay, from the harmful uh, UV rays coming from the sun. Okay, in order for us also to be protected by the UV rays. Okay, so without the ozone layer, we will be uh, directly 
a heat uh, by the harmful UV rays coming from the sun. Okay, so that's it. And in terms of water as our renewable resource, we have also water purification and wastewater treatment. Okay, so in order for that water to be to be uh, used as our uh, drinking water or a potable water, so we need to purify that first. Okay, so that it will not make us to to it will not affect us. Uh, it will not affect our health when, whenever we drink that water. So we need a uh, water purification, and water purification is part of the ecosystem services as well as the wastewater treatment. The plants nowadays or those company, okay, and industries as well as the industries, they should have a uh, wastewater treatment, okay, because their wastes from the factories or even in the industries. So there are laws already that that govern the, the industry or the factories should treat their waste first before they're going to to dump that or to release that to the environment. And without those wastewater treatment, uh, that factories can be closed or that industry can be closed with the governing bodies. Okay, so those are the examples of. Of natural resources and ecosystem services that that summarizes or that 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 defines the natural capital okay so that is the number one key component for sustainability natural capital number two <clears throat> is what we call the natural capital degradation so this will happen also okay it will uh, this is a very big problem for the uh, natural capital. It's because when we use our renewable resources faster than the nature can restore them, we don't have any more uh, a resource that we can get to to the environment. It's because it's already been uh, 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 run off or it's already been at its uh, it's a very small amount already. Okay, so because the we use that uh, on a very large amount or we, we use that we get that resources on a very large uh, amount uh, it faster than the nature can actually restore them then possible that it will be uh, depleted or it will be a one-off or it will decrease its uh, resource and from time to time that the more that we use that then then therefore then we can say that at the end of the of the day or or at in the future, that that resource can actually be run off or can be depleted. Okay, so that is the problem there for the natural capital that that that, that renewable resource can be degraded because of the for because of our needs. Okay, because of our needs as a human. Okay, and because of this, some of also uh, uh, factors that can actually degrade the natural capital is the Overloading of the Earth's normally renewable air and water system with pollution and wastes. Okay, the way how we pollute our air and water that is also uh, one of the problems that the natural capital faces. Okay, so we are degrading the natural capital by in by introducing contaminants and pollutants in air and in also in our water system, and it is actually evident now a days okay so that is a really really a big problem on our natural capital okay so this is an example of the natural capital degradation okay by clearing up our vast areas of forest as an example of that okay so because we want to uh, we want to make buildings there okay on that on that area there so we so therefore there's a part of our forest that are already been cleared up because of uh because of industrial activities and also uh construction okay so like we construct buildings construct uh, a tourist spot there oh okay that can also be one of the causes for forest uh, degradation okay which is part of the natural capital uh, degradation so we can see that our mountains have also a, a deforested area 
Okay? So that is also uh, one example of the natural capital degradation. And also dumping of our uh, waste, okay? Especially those non-biodegradable uh, wastes, like, just like your plastic, okay? Because your plastic is takes a long time to be uh, degraded, okay? Or to be, to be like decomposed, okay? But, but some of the plastic will remain on the surface of the planets, okay? They can also be turned into microplastics, which are actually have a greater impact in the marine environment and also in for us humans because microplastics can be taken by the fish, okay? And in turn, the fish will eat those microplastics. They, they can be introduced into their system and we will also eat that fish and therefore it will also affect us in terms of our health, okay? And not just that, because of this, uh, that the environment is now facing this kind of problem about uh, plastics and also the forest degradation as well as the chemical wastes that were actually dumped in our environment. Like for example, factories, okay, the one that I stated uh, when, I came, when I went to the Botuanon River, okay, so you, have, you can see that the factories or even homes will dump their wastes into the river. Okay, so those are the, the problems or that can degrade the natural capital. Okay, and because of these problems, we can come up with the number three a component of sustainability, which is what we call the solutions. Okay, so the solutions can be scientific, economic, and political solutions. In political so solutions, the government will eventually uh, make laws, okay, will implement uh, laws and regulations to protect the environment. Okay, scientific, like for example, if 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 there are already a uh, cutting of trees that are happening, which can degrade the forest, uh, okay, so our our solution there is that we will not cut trees anymore. Okay, we will not cut trees anymore. Or even if there are some that are dumping their wastes or there are some that dump their garbages just anywhere, okay, then the scientific there is that we will make an action that will make us, okay, not to dump our wastes anymore or though, uh, not to, uh, to, to release our chemical waste to the environment. But all of these are actually need some suitable uh, action with the uh, with the government okay that's why the government will have to implement laws and regulation in order for that to be uh, to be strictly uh, applied to the to the environment okay so because some of the some of the factories will eventually uh, not follow those uh, laws okay not follow those uh, the, that principle, if you just say to them that don't dump their wastes or even humans, okay? If you just say to them that don't, uh, don't uh, throw your garbage anywhere, okay? Eventually, they will just forget it, okay? So, if, what if the, the government will now uh, go, goes to that uh, problem, okay? So, then it will implement uh, a solutions for that problem, and to implement uh, some laws and regulations that can can actually be uh, uh, strictly applied to those people. Okay, so that is what that is what we call the solution. But sometimes all of these solutions will have an implication or will have a conflict along the run. Like for example, if we will say that we will not uh, uh, any more cut trees, okay? So that is the solution for forest degradation. But how about the timber company, which will make our economy grows, grows, okay? Which will make our economy boom, which will uh, make the government to have uh, greater uh, uh, taxes, okay? That will that will also help our economy, okay? So that's the conflict now. There, the timber company will have will protest. Because they want to cut, we want to cut down trees in order for the company to be also uh, sustained. Okay, so there's a conflict really happening there. Okay, so 
that's a really very uh, big uh, uh, also issue, especially also in an industrialized country, okay, and especially those countries that are that considered to be a rich country because of the economy. Like for example, you cannot say to that uh, even on the on the uh, urban areas, okay. You cannot go directly to to say to that uh, company even there are laws and regulations that govern uh, our uh, protection of the environment. But you cannot uh, make that company to be to be closed down because of some economic issues, okay? Because that company uh, has the great contribution for the economy of uh, for that country uh, country's economy to survive, okay? So there are really a lot of conflict and problems that can be situated there. Okay, so that's it. That is the that are the key components for sustainability. So that's what I have earlier. Like for example, if you are uh, uh, chem, uh, you are dumping uh, chemicals, then then that government can have a, a implement environmental law in order for that uh, not to happen anymore. Okay?